okay this is the uh, the dynamic model and after that we have some um, some discussion about each part of these um, uh, of, of the diamond model of course here the, the factor condition we mean by the factor condition we mean the land labor capital natural resources and so on all of these we call them together factor conditions and if the, if we have it or if we have them uh, of course our business will grow and uh, we, we will compete in the market and also the same thing um, uh, applied for the uh, the workers or the labor okay the labor should be educated and we must have some specialized workforce um, that enhance the work inside the company okay and now we are discussing the companies one by one and all of these companies together make industry and all the industries together make the nation. Demand or the طلب على السلع والخدمات داخل الدولة أو داخل أمريكا هو اللي يعني يحسن اقتصاد الاقتصاد الأمريكي. الاقتصاد الأمريكي يشكل حوالي 40% من الاقتصاد العالمي وبالتالي الاقتصاد هذا اللي هو تقريبا نص اقتصاد العالم. جاي اساسا من ايش؟ جاي اساسا من الطلب المحلي في داخل الولايات المتحده. And also the third point here is about the related and supporting industries and as we said that if the related and supporting industries uh, are um, uh, good inside the, the country that means the industry itself will, will be in a good condition. Yeah. The related and supporting industries means the, uh, as one of you said, uh, the supply chain, the supply chain. Uh, I will give you an example. If in, in any country, if there, are, if there are no or if there is no uh, raw materials for any product, as an example in Saudi Arabia, um, there are a lot of wood industry يعني الصناعات الخشبية okay wood industry like for example furniture like uh, beds and uh, some uh, other uh, other industry or other, other products other wood products okay any wood products think about any wood products chairs tables uh, uh, doors uh, windows and so on now Saudi Arabia does not have a uh, forest or does not have more trees. Okay, do you think that Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia can compete in the wood industry or in the furniture industry? Do you think uh, it can compete uh, with other countries like Sweden, for example, and Germany and the uh, United States or so on? It cannot compete. Yeah, it cannot compete. Why? What is the reason for that? Because we don't have related and supporting industries. We don't have raw materials. We don't have raw materials that enhance this industry. Okay? This is, uh, this, this is uh, about the related and supporting industry. If there is a related and supporting industries for wood industry in Saudi Arabia, then there will uh, then Saudi Arabia can compete in this market okay but I will give you another example that may be um, contradict with with this theory for example contradict with this theory right for example China China does not have petrol or oil no oil in China China export or import oil from uh, Saudi Arabia, from uh, Russia, or Russia, um, from other countries that produce oil. But as you can see that all the industries or many industries, uh, especially uh, petrochemical industries, are competing in China. What is the reason for that? The reason is that China has 
good strategy for growing. They are thinking of the growing. They are thinking how can they grow in any industry because they have another uh, what we call it strength. They have another strength. What is this strength? Other strength is the labor capital. Here is the Ras al Mal al Bashari. And the Ras al Mal al Bashari. Lidalik Ras al Mal al Bashari. You saw him fi the Tower as seen fi the other industries. Tokiban Murram al Industries. And Hattel Hattel Sanaat il Lima and the raw materials laha. The story of her. وتحاول انها تشتغل على هذه الرو ماتيريالز وتطورها وتصنع منها منتجات جديده اوكي وايضا ايضا بيكوز ذا 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 ليبرز ذا كوست اوف ليبر از ذا مينيمم ان تشاينا الكوست اوف ليبر اللي هو تكلفه اليد العامله في الصين قليله جدا مقارنه بالاذر كانتريز لذلك يعني نرى انه الصين يعني تنافس في معظم الصناعات انه عندها الكوست اوف كابيتال او الكوست اوف ليبر از فيري تشيب او ذا فيرم ستراتيجي اند ذيس از اولسو وي ديسكس ات اوريدي وي سيد ذات ذا ستراتيجي او ذا فيرم ستراتيجي شود انهانس او شود ثينك اباوت ذا جروينج ذيس از ذا ستراتيجي ستراتيجي مينز تو ثينك اوف ذا فيوتشر طيب ذا هير ذا ذا كانتريز With a short run outlook, like the United States, will tend to be more competitive in industries where investment is short term. So the uh, the strategy affect what kind of investments or what kind of industries uh, will be competitive in the in the country. Uh, about the, the other point, in the other hand, we have long run outlook. And this long run outlook like Saudi Arabia will tend to be more competitive in industries where investment is in long term, like the oil industry. Of course, the oil industry is a long term uh, industry. So that the countries that have long term outlook, they can compete in this type of, uh, of industries. Next point about the structure. And here we mean اللي هو الهيكل التنظيمي للشركات او الهيكل التنظيمي للصناعات. Porter argues that the best management styles vary among industries. Every industry, capital market, capital market means the uh, stock market, the uh, سواق المال. Uh, some countries may be oriented toward a particular style of management, for example, Germany. tend to have hierarchical management structure composed of managers with strong technical background. Um, in each country, we, fi we find some of different structures, like for example here, this is uh, an example about Germany. Germany has uh, uh, technical uh, managers as, for example, CEOs or... Next, the, the rivalry Rivalry means, means uh, the number of companies in one industry, or we can call it the competition, Munafasa, or Zahma, or Zaham, in the Sanaa. Added the Shirikat. If there's a added Shirikat, you will be rivalry. Um, the existence of competitors will enhance. The products and services in that industry. If there is no competition, or if there is no uh, competitors, if there is only one company who produce this product or provide this service, then uh, there will not be any development for for this product. As an example here, if you remember STC, when there was no mobile or Zen. The uh, the mobile phone was very expensive, and the service was very bad. Okay, uh, and what happened to STC? Why STC 
reduce the prices and enhance the services. Why? What is the reason for that? Because of the competition. Okay, now how can the government support the uh, industries, different industries? Of course, the government or the governments play uh, a very important role in each country. As an example, uh, Malaysia. Um, in 1975, Malaysia, were, wa Malaysia was a very poor country. Within 10 years, maybe, or 15 years, Malaysia become one of the important and powerful countries in Southeast Asia. What happened to Malaysia? Of course, the government support the business. And there are a lot of um, examples in the world, like Singapore, for example, or uh, China. There are a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, examples about the role of the government uh, to support the diamonds. Uh, th this is a very important comment. The government cannot create competitive industries. Only companies can do that. Of course, the government cannot <coughs> enhance the industries, but they can help in enhancing the environment among all of these industries. Then government role is to encourage companies to raise their aspiration and move to higher levels of competitive performance, like, for example, the Dubai government or like what we call what what we said about the Malaysian government and so on so it's indirect rather than direct role okay the eight recommended approaches of the uh, government the first one is uh, focus on specialized factor creation okay so the first uh, the first recommendation is to focus on specialized factor creation. Number two, avoid intervening in factor and currency market. By intervening, government hope to create lower factor cost or favorable exchange rate that help firm to compete internationally. يعني لا يكون في conflict بين لا يكون في يعني تعارض بين السياسة النقدية للدولة. وخلق بيئة تنافسية لابد السياسة النقدية للدولة لابد أنها تشجع على خلق قيمة تنافسية and thirdly enforce strict product safety and environmental standards of course this is also a big uh, a very important uh, point about the role of the government the government should uh, strictly enforce the products and uh, the, sorry the, the safety of the products and environment also. Uh, government should should uh, should encourage sustained investment in human skills. Sustained investment investment means Asia, اللي هو الاستثمار المستدام أو الاستثمار مثلاً زي الاستثمار في رأس المال البشري استثمار في تدريب الناس استثمار في الاستثمار اللي هو طويل المدى استثمار يحقق عوائد طويلة المدى. طيب deregulate or free competition. طبعا هنا ال ال competition deregulation okay it also contradict with the previous point of the uh, competition. يعني هنا تكون منافسة حرة بين الشركات. يعني ما تتدخل مثلا الحكومة وتحاول أنها تحدد أسعار منتجات معينة. أو كذا وبالتالي يعني لابد أن الحكومة يعني تجعل من المنافسة منافسة عادلة. Enforce strong domestic antitrust policies. Reject managed trade. هذه كلها الأمور ثمانية اللي هي تسمى role of government. طيب الآن في أيضا we have also another role which is the role of the company. Company policy. 
and also we have eight recommended approaches. The first one is to create pressure in for innovation. يعني الشركة لابد إنها يعني لابد إنها تشجع على الابتكار اللي هي الشركة نفسها. والآن إحنا نتكلم عن أي شركة في الدولة. Any company. Okay. Uh, to seek out the most capable competitors as motivators. يعني إنه يشوف الشركة نفسها تشوف المتب ال 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 competitor الأفضل المنافس لها تشوفه إنه ح محفز لهذه الشركة إنها تتطور. Establish early warning systems. Improve the the national diamond. Welcome domestic rivalry. Globalize to tap selective advantages in other nations. Uh, use alliances only. So 